The Rifleman. Starring Chuck Connors. Smug. I didn't say a word. <laughs> well, you were thinking it. How much further is it? Not far. Just over that hill, we take a trail that cuts across the hermit's property. Come on. <laughs> Why did old Tony fence off the trail? I don't know when he fenced it off, but I know it's not going to stay that way. That man has pushed me just a little too far. You know enough to ask a man's permission when you cross his land? My pa asked you once. You, you said it was all right. I don't believe you. Who is your pa? Lucas McCain. And he did so ask you. Ah. Ah, looks to me like you've been running these horses. Probably have. Ah, kids don't know anything about horses. Mark and I have been raised on horses. Oh, you have, have you? Well, then the first thing you better learn is to water horses when they're thirsty. You know how to water horses, don't you? Yes, sir. All right. Come. Come. Him, but I'm beginning to think his bark is a lot worse than his bite. No, I don't like him. Hey, hey, hey. You don't have to use it all, you know. It's been a dry year. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, sir. I think we'll be going now. Oh, is that, uh, is that your uh, lunch in there? No, sir. That, that's for our heads. We're looking for old Indian flintstones. Uh, no food. Oh, uh, you run around all day long in the country without anything to eat, and then you'll go home and you fill up on pie that isn't cool yet, and your belly ache all night, huh? Well, don't just stand there. Come into the house, I'll feed you. That was the best meatloaf I've ever eaten. 
Sure was. Thanks, Mr. Tony. I uh, just made it the way my mama used to make it in old country. I noticed the guitar. Do you play it? We have no time to monkey around with foolishness. Well, don't you go breaking that boy! I wouldn't harm a musical instrument, Mr. Tony. A guitar is like a friend or, or a part of you. I have one of my own. No, I didn't mean to holler. Just that it's a, it's a keepsake, kind of. Don't suppose it's good for anything anymore, anyway. There, you can... You can look at it if you want to. Thank you. Anybody can pick and pluck, but guitar is no good unless you sing to it. Only trouble is there no more good songs. Songs all have gone to ruin like, like the rest of the world. They used to be good ones, pretty ones, like green sleeves. son once, about your age. He used to sing that song for me in the evenings. That was his guitar, you know. Uh, it's a long time since I heard music like that. You are the first company I've, I've had. A man feels lonely for somebody to talk to. Perhaps that's why I holler so much because I've sort of forgotten what it's like to hear the sound of a human voice. Well, we'd better get going if we expect to find any arrowheads. It's a long ways to Redbud Canyon. Redbud? Why do you want to go up there? Much more Indian relics right here in Sycamore Canyon. Oh, but that's on your land, sir, and nobody ever... Yeah, well, you are right. Nobody ever can go on my land, but I said you could, didn't I? Well, now you're going up to, to Sycamore, huh? Gosh, Mr. Tony, thanks. Yeah, thanks. We'll bring back some arrowheads for you. Good, you do that. We sure will. <laughs> thanks again. Yeah, thanks. I'll see ya.
Micah. Well, look, this boy, he's just in time to join me for a cup of coffee. Well, I'll have half a cup, Micah. Don't you think it's about time you invested in a new coffee pot? The bottom's just about burned out of that one. I don't know. That's good for a year or two yet. And don't go spending my money. What are you doing in town? Having supper at the hotel with Mark and Laura. If they ever get here, they should have been by now. I demand you do something. Well, what's eating you, Joe? You look like you ran into a herd of wild Comanches. It's a Tony. Told you 500 times you ought to be put away. You and Tony lock horns again, that it, Joe? Ever since we came over on the boat together, I've listened to his insults. Now, now, Joe, calm down. Everybody knows you and Tony are feuding again, but nobody knows about what. I doubt if you do. What's uh, the complaint this time? He took a shot at me, that's what. He tried to kill me. Oh, now, wait a minute, Joe. I'll admit Tony's an odd one, but trying to kill somebody. Well, why don't you ask your own boy? He was there. He and that lorry. Oh, where are they now? I don't know. I hollered to them to come along. Maybe they went back to the ranch. Oh, I doubt if they were supposed to meet me here. I'm sure they were right behind me. Joe, are you sure that Tony took a shot at you? Now, I am not a man who jokes much. You know that. When I tell you he shot at me, he shot at me. Maybe I'll let her go out there and see what this is all about. Uh, I think I'll ride along with you, Micah. Funny. I found those two right together. And now I've looked for an hour. Mark? I must say, you look comfortable. Damn. Aren't you going to look for arrowheads anymore? In a little while. What you thinking about? About old Tony and how lonesome he must really be. Yeah, I was thinking it too. I wonder what his wife is like. Mark? Huh? Do you ever wonder what your wife will be like? I mean, when you get married. I suppose so. Well, what would she be like? Real pretty and a good cook. Oh, Mark, can't you ever be serious? Do you think that's all there is to marriage? No, not really. There's a lot more. Like what? Well, Paul and I was talking about it once, and he was talking about my mother. I'll never forget a thing he said. He said that they were more than just in love. They were friends. I don't think I understand. Well, he meant that, that she was someone he, he could talk to about his troubles and about anything. Like us, Mark? Sure, like us. We're friends and we can talk. Um, you go better look for those arrowheads if you plan on getting any. And don't go too far and get yourself lost. Mark McCain, will you quit treating me like a little girl? <laughs> Listen to me. What do you want? I want to talk to you. I'm not talking to Joe Stanick. For 30 years, I've tried talking to him. Didn't do any good. Won't do any good now. See, I told you, didn't I? No use trying to reason with him. Tony, I just want to talk to you about a couple of children. My son, Mark, and a young girl. Mr. McCain, you and Marshall can come up if you want to. But if Joe Stanick puts one foot on my land, I'll start shooting. Joe, you stay put. Lucas and I are going up. And if you start anything with that rifle, 
Tony won't be the only one giving you a bad time. All I want to know, Tony, is where Mark and Laurie went when they left here. Oh, quit trying to reason with the old fool. You're the law marshal. Take him in. I told you he shot at me, didn't I? I did not shoot at you. I shot straight up in air. You run like ostrich. You've always been coward, even in old country. You ought to be locked up. Somebody could look after you, like your cousin Rudolph. I can look after myself a lot better than you look after those cows of yours. They have been in my garden again. Then you drove them there. Probably figured on butchering one. Nobody calls me county. Ah, oh, now, Tony, put down that shotgun. Now, look, Joe, you either shut your mouth or get out of here. Why don't you send him back to town, Michael? We're not going to get anywhere this way. That's the first sensible thing I've heard so far. Joe, you've made your complaint, and now I'm looking into it. Now, get out of here and let me handle it. I'll get out. But if you don't see to it, that old fool is put away where I can't harm anyone. I'll go straight to the governor. Well, now, let's see if we can make some sense. We get started back. Do you hear me? Come on. All right, if you're hiding, I give up. Come on. Three of you come breaking in here, guns all over you. What's a man expected to do? A man got the right to protect his property, doesn't he? Or do you tell me that that the law only works for for Joe Stanley? Law is available to you if you want to use it. Same as anybody else. But you keep hiding out up here. It's, it's my right to live alone if I want to. There is nothing for me out there. Never has been. Not since my wife died. Well, I lost my wife too, Tony. Quite a while ago. I didn't like it either, but the world kept right on turning. It's easy for you to say. You had son to look after and love. Well, I did too at first, but no more. Now I lost son too. Well, maybe you can understand why I might be a little worried about mine. Yes, I can understand that. You see, I was just starting out after them when you came in. Maybe that's why I lost my head, sort of. Maybe that's why I got to feeling if anything should happen to the two kids, it was my fault. It was I who sent them into Sycamore Canyon. Suppose well, they went beyond the canyon, over into the swamp. That place is full of quicksand. Mark has better sense than that, Michael. There is no need for them to go beyond it. The Indian burial ground is at this end. I just want to help now, Mr. McCain, that's all. I just want to help. The main thing now is for us to get over there and look for them. Let's go. Lori, where are you?
buried. I dug for flints here. No better place for arrowheads. Never mind. Now look at this. What is it? Oh, Lori must have walked on ahead. Mark followed. There's her prints and there his. They could have cut through the gorge and come out by Red Bud Canyon. Well, the best I... thing we can do is split up and circle around. We can meet back here. One of us has got to bump into him. Yeah, well, I'll cut through here. I'm just an old fool. Mark! dozen canyons those kids could have wandered into and be all right. Yeah, I can't believe Mark could get lost, not in this country. Well, maybe he got hurt and the girl was going to help. You think there's any possibility I haven't thought about? Well, what do we do? We'll keep looking, Lance. Help! Help! Somebody! Help! Just don't struggle! Don't struggle! Help! Help! Mark! Take it easy. Swamp. I found them. Quicksand. Best leave your horse here. Son. Oh, we're going down. Hold on to Lori, Mark. Paul, I sure am glad to see you. Me too, son. Me too. Just because I say there's no charge against you this time doesn't mean you can go around waving a shotgun any time the notion strikes you. Now, I'll admit, Joe Stanick is hard to get along with, but then uh, so are you. Now, maybe if you two old goats had quit butting your heads together... I guess I've been alone too long. I've forgotten how to get along with people. Uh, you made a good start toward remembering today, Tom. Ah, uh, kids getting in trouble. Tracking mud all over the house. Fine thing, they didn't even remember to bring me the flints they promised me. I lost all the good ones in the swamp, but we'll come back again, won't we, Mark? Huh. So you're going to come back to see me, huh? <laughs> I didn't even ask you. Next thing you know, they'd be wanting me to take them to the fancy hotel and buy them supper. <laughs> when that time comes, Tony, the supper's going to be on me, and I hope it'll be soon. Hey, what are you sitting there for? You said yourself the guitar needed tuning. Well, go ahead, tune her up. <laughs> 